Question number 17. How do you process or handle bulk data? First, let's understand what bulk data means. Assume you get an input file from your business team and it has around 10,000 rows in it and they wanted to process all those as soon as possible. The number 10k is just a rough estimate. To say a file is bulk, it depends on the complexity of the process and transaction time as well. So this number 10k is subject to change depending upon the process that you run. So coming back to our input file, obviously you cannot achieve this by using a single bot. We have to use multiple bots in order to complete this huge task. So in order to process this file successfully, you need to know the challenges you may face. First is data storage. You need a proper storage mechanism to store this huge data or else you won't have any control of what data you have processed and what's pending and what if this file gets deleted. Next is how you can distribute these data among each bots. So if multiple bot reads and starts process this file without any data distribution logic, it may cause duplicate processing. So if you can address these challenges, you can answer this question. So to solve our first challenge storage, we can actually use some centralized mechanisms. For example, in UiPath, we have orchestrator queues and in Automation Anywhere, we have work item queues. So you can upload this huge file into that queue. Next, you can use databases as well. If your client infrastructure has DB, you can very well create a table and upload this file. For the worst case, you cannot accommodate the above two. You can still use a file that is placed in a shared path where all robots can able to access it. After this, we have to make sure that the data distribution happens smoothly. We need to make sure that no bot should process already processed transaction, which will cause a huge business impact. So when you use queues, already the RPA server provides some facilities to distribute the data. For example, in case of UiPath, we have a set of activities and logic in place to get the next available transaction item and to set the transaction status. If you're using a database, you can always have a flag in your table. So whenever any robot extracts a row from the table, you can set the flag to in progress and when processed, you can set it to complete. So this would avoid any duplicate processing. So if you're using only the shared file, you can allocate rows based on row numbers. For example, you can set a robot one to process the data up to 10, th up to 1000 rows and robot two from 1001 to 2000 and so on. So once we have a proper storage and data distribution defined, you only left with the reporting. Make sure all transactions updated the status properly. That is if it is a success or a failure. Make sure your process sends out a report to the business as well.